A civil emergency declared over the closure of the West Seattle Bridge. Here's an aerial over the empty roadway right now. That emergency also came with a request for both federal and state money to repair or replace it. And Kyra 7's Graham Johnson is live beneath that bridge right now. Graham, uh, nobody knows that bridge and the importance of it better than you. This is the first emergency declaration about failing infrastructure. And David really could help with getting funding and also it will speed permitting for restoring this critical uh, crossing over the Duwamish River. From here, you can really see the cracks that led to the sudden closure of the West Seattle Bridge in March. Today, we also heard from technical experts who suggest the bridge can be repaired. With the West Seattle Bridge closed since March, people who live in this neighborhood are enduring long detours. You got to go five miles out of your way just to get to downtown. The city is stabilizing the cracked bridge, work that's needed regardless of whether it's ultimately replaced or repaired. Today, a technical advisory panel recommended the city fully explore a fix, writing that the panel has not been presented with any information that indicates that a long-term repair is infeasible or economically unviable. That doesn't mean that repair is the right path yet, uh, and it, it means that there's a lot uh, of work that we can continue to do in parallel on both repair and replacement options. SDOT Director Sam Zimbabwe tells me the city still assumes repairs would only last a decade, but he says more analysis could change that. In the neighborhood, we heard skepticism about any short-term fix. So that seems like a silly thing to do, like why not fix it for the long run? SDOT promises a detailed cost-benefit analysis of many options, including repairing the bridge, a full or partial replacement, or an immersed tube tunnel. Basically, it's laying, laying a road in the bottom of the river. Structurally, it's much simpler. Retired civil engineer Bob Ortblad is pitching a tunnel that's very different than the troubled Highway 99 project. This would be a submerged precast concrete structure, smaller than this one in Vancouver, B.C. It's such a short crossing. It's only 500 feet across. It's 30 feet deep. I mean, they've, again, they've done these things all over the world. Bob Ortblad tells me a tunnel at the bottom of the river here could also handle trains for the light rail line Sound Transit is building. Estos director tells me whatever happens here could cost hundreds of millions of dollars. He expects the city to come to a preferred solution sometime around November. Live in Seattle, Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News.